Hello everyone, Excel Ozzy here. As you can see right now, I am in um, just a free play thing, and I'm going to be teaching you some moves that can help you in NHL 21 um, and things like that. Um, so don't expect me to know all these moves that like um, if you watch hockey videos and stuff like Nasher, if you know who he is. Um, don't expect me to be doing some of his moves like he does. So, let's start with the first one that you can really use very useful. Like right now, I am doing forehand, backhand, there we go, easy goal. So how to do this is really simple. Um, I kind of wish I had a controller cam so that It'd be a little bit easier to tell what I am doing here. I am actually using the right stick and then just moving it to left and right. So nothing hard, you just skate up the ice and then move the right stick left and right to uh, show or put the um, puck on your forehand and right hand. Okay, the next move, I'm going to be showing you how to do the Datsuk. So Datsuk, um, you still want to use this right controller that helped you um, do the deking like this. So you're going to use, like, for me, it's R3. Um, you just want to click on it, and that's how you do the fake shot, which will help you do the Datsuk. So you want to click on that, then you want to bring it back and shoot. And you're doing all of this, doing all of this with the right um, thing to move. So just how you were using the stick handling, going back and forth, that's the only thing you're going to use. So you're going to click on it, the fake shot, bring it back. I can't really do it slowly because then I'm going to look like I'm doing a slap shot. So click down on it, which makes you fake shoot. Then you want to bring it back and then shoot and then go forward. So when you bring it back, it's going to take the puck back, then go forward. It should look something like this. So that is what, um, or how to do that. And if you do it right, you'll tell, and then it'll also say drag shot. So now I'm going to be doing one of the moves right there. That's how you do it. That was just added into NHL 21. So whenever you are going up the boards, no matter on which side, so say the defenseman gets the puck in the corner and passes it up to his winger, who should be somewhere by here. He will pick it up and say you're over here on the wall and there's a defenseman who is gonna step up and check you. You wanna go over to the side and hit it off the boards and go over. So how you're gonna do this move, is L1 and R2. Um, so there's four buttons at the top. You want to hit the L1, which is the first one on the left, and R2, the last one on the right. I don't know how it would be for you Xbox players, but that's how you do that. So you just want to go on the boards, and wherever you go, so like, Say that I am skating towards the left side. I want to look over at that left side, and that's where you throw it. If I'm going up on the left side and I look over to my right, it's going to uh, do that move. Or sometimes do that. Really just depends how you do it. Um, but there's that move. So another thing you want to use is your L2 button, which is the second one on the left-hand side. Um, you'll know when you're doing it, it'll say back skate like that with a little check mark. Um, and this can be very useful. If you're a defenseman and you have the puck and you're up here, and then a forward's coming at you, you can back skate around, go up, and then like take a slap shot just like that and score. i um, not saying you're going to score every time doing it, but it can help you just like that. Okay, this one is a move that I figured out. It's a saucer pass. So it's hard to tell, but here I'll zoom in actually on the puck um, whenever I'm doing it. You simply just want to hit the R1 button 
and you can tell it just goes right up in the air if I do it right yeah you can see it goes just a tiny bit up in the air you have to be moving and looking that way just like an actual pass whenever you're doing it so there's stick in the way saucer pass so that's how you do the saucer pass just R1 move right here you're gonna be using L1 and your right uh, stick so what you want to do is you want to do a simple move by just hitting L1 like that which will mainly um, do this move wherever it drops the puck and then you pick it back up but now you're gonna use your right stick and with this you can either go to the left or the right whatever which way I'm gonna go to the right real quick um, and you'll see me I will drop it and then pick or like drop it over to my side so it kind of it puts wherever you're doing it instead of just going over like this and going like this and it kind of goes behind you it's more now um in between their sticks mainly so you can do this when Whenever you're going up the ice, that's whenever you're mainly going to do it, like this, and then shoot over on the goalie. Uh, that's whenever you're going to use it the most. So that's how you do that move. Okay, guys. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you one more move. Um, this is another shootout move. This is the one-handed tuck deke, or just one-handed shot deke. Um, how you're gonna do this is by hitting how you dive. If you don't know how to dive, it's the L1 and R1 button. You wanna hit the L1 and R1 button at the same time. So, it's just gonna do whatever this is. Um, if you just hit those but then of course you got to be moving but whenever you're moving and you hit those buttons it's going to do that which is the one-handed deke now it's not entirely the one-handed deke because it's not really aiming really that much it's not aiming as well so you kind of have to control it with the right trigger stick just like mainly all the other ones. So let's see if I can get a good one. So there you can see how I did that. You just want to um, aim over on the right side like that if you're going up here and go like that. Good save by the goalie. If you want to go on the left side you just aim up on the left side. So um he actually, I don't think, can do it on that side. I've been trying to figure it out, so if that's why I kind of cut that part out, that's why I was thinking that you could, but I don't think you can. It always goes on that side because that's the uh, backhand side. So yeah, you can only go on this side, I'm pretty sure. But that's it for all my moves. I hope you guys enjoyed this mental NHL 21 video. If you guys would like to see more, please leave a comment down below or if you'd like to see something different. I'm on the road to 100 subs, and um, that's it, guys. So I'll see you later. Bye.